Well, today around 1 o'clock, it was the Gaylord Perry statue dedication. And uh, it was really wonderful. A great crowd turned out. And uh, Gaylord had a chance to get some things off of his chest. And, uh, and then we saw the statue. And, uh, and I think it looks pretty good. So, if I could follow through. Good follow through. Yeah. Gaylord is with us. So, uh, Gaylord, welcome. Thank you. So, uh, it was a big day for you. you yes, been, it you was. You'd be uh, thrilled for you and your family. And, yes. This, this and the other guys that uh, have statues, they're all there. So, uh, congratulations. Yeah. That was great. Here's Trumbo, by the way. And Trumbo on the first pitch hits this one a mile in the air. And when it comes down, Crawford's going to catch it. So, uh, well, thank you for that. Uh, Just to I have to tell you something, though. When I played with you in 74 and 75, I never thought that you were going to be that good. <laughs> the reason I was that good is y'all made me that way. You made double plays when I had to. You, you, you like to finish what you started, though, didn't you? Oh, yes. Absolutely. 303 complete games. Yeah. You had two years in a row. You had 29 complete games in each year. I uh, didn't get a raise. You see, my yeah. <laughs> you my, need a new agent, I, I'm pal. I'm going with the story that you didn't trust the bullpen. That was it. You trusted yourself more. Well, uh, I think maybe once in my career, I says uh, I think the guy in the bullpen might have better stuff. I'm not sure of that, but I think so. Yeah. The rest of them, that guy ain't got nothing. I got more than him. Yeah, even if it was the ninth inning, his belt makes the cut. Uh, when you look back at your Giants years. Uh, when you looked around, did, did you see all these Hall of Famers and say, yeah, you know what? Uh, this has to be one of the greatest group of guys I've ever played with. That's right. I, I want to stay there. You had the center field was a Hall of Famer. You had the first base Hall of Famer. Wherever the played or played while I was here was there. And then you, you just had the uh, most feared hitter in at first base in McCovey. So we was going to get some runs. Yeah. So if I can and I won a lot of my games in the eighth and ninth inning, so I, I figured I wanted to pitch a complete game because uh, getting the win was my best shot. Yeah. Two outs. Here's Chris Davis. Two quick outs for Bumgarner. Davis hitting 223, and he takes a call strike. Gee, we're talking about uh, William Barron's the, the sculptor that did your statue. Yes. And he said it was his favorite. Does that have anything to do with the fact that both you guys were from North Carolina? Probably did a whole lot. <laughs> Carolina boys got to stick together. <laughs> well, you got one out on the mound that throws the ball pretty doggone yes, good. Yes, he does. He's only about 60 miles from where I am, uh, over close to Hickory. And uh, I love the way he pitches. I love the way he thinks uh, what he should do out there. He's he's not afraid. Well, he certainly doesn't pitch afraid. You're exactly right. As that fastball is high, two and two. Uh, but did you visit William Barron's when he was uh, – Yes, I, we live about an hour and a half from him. And uh, I was over there three times uh, going over to get the stockings right, getting the hand right, to get the gloves where I could catch the ball instead of having it behind you, you know. So we, we talk baseball. He's a very intelligent baseball man. He's really a big is. Giants fan. He watches a lot of games. Oh, yes, he does. But it was quite exciting to, to go to his house and, and see the big room he had because it's so tall, you know. But uh, – he did all of them out here, as you know. Yeah, he said it took about a year for years. Everybody else is like two months. Well, I want to mind bigger. So. <laughs> and the walk to Chris Davis. So that's the first base runner. And now Khalif Joseph is going to hit. But, but what does it feel like when you see the veil pulled off the statue and you're enshrined forever yeah, in the hearts and minds of Giants fans? What's that mean uh, to you? It really hasn't soaked in yet. I think maybe in the next couple of days it will. Uh, maybe while I'm on the airplane going back to North Carolina, I says, man, what a trip. You know, you just think about that. And you look out here like the 36 is retired and then the statue. It's, it's awesome. It really is. Here's Joseph who takes a pitch down low, one ball and no strikes. No score. We're with Gaylord Perry who now has a statue outside this ballpark. So your statue right next to Cepeda, so you guys will have a few conversations, I would imagine. Yeah, we've been kind of needling each other right now who's got the best statue. In. This one is cued off the end of the bat, and it's going to be a base hit. 
Here's our Togo's big play the Togo's way. September 17th, 1968. Gaylord Perry. No hit the Cardinals. He had two walks. He had nine strikeouts. And here's and the Kirk pitch Club. to flat. Strike three called it. No hitter for Gaylord Perry. Gaylord Perry gets his name in the record book with the second no hitter in the history of the San Francisco Giants. Pretty and good the sinker there. And the next day, what happened? Ray Washburn pitched a no hitter against us, and I only had a few hours to enjoy it, man. <laughs> Gee, you know, my family was back in uh, North Carolina getting ready to go to school, and I was just out here by myself. But uh, the next morning, I went out to the ballpark early. Herman Franks came in, since his grandmother could have hit that stuff I threw up there. So we had a lot of fun with Herman. Herman was a great uh, manager for us. Yeah, Mike has, you know, knew Herman very well from his Cubs days. Brought me into the big leagues. He was my first manager. Yeah. It's 1 0 to Nolan Reimold with runners at first and second. Two outs, two quick outs, and then a walk and a single. And Bumgarner <laughs> with a fastball on the inside corner. You know, like Bumgarner, he pretty much lives with the fastball. Yeah. Well, you have to have a, have a good one because uh, the hitter has to make up his mind real quick. So if you got a good fastball and you got a so so curve, you're going to win a lot of ball games. One ball and one strike. We're with Gaylord Perry. And this one slowly hit. And it'll be Panic who's going to make the play. And that's going to end the end. Gaylord, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh, See you guys. Everything Thank you. you've done for us. Thank you.